All right, guys, we're getting a strong G3 geomagnetic storm watch for New Year's Eve. And you know what that means? Northern Lights. Yes. All right. Look at this forecast for tomorrow. Now, here in the States, New Year's Eve, this is more like the 30th into the 31st. Um, but the G3 geomagnetic storm watch is in effect for New Year's Eve. Now, here is that red view line. If you live at or north of this line, you have a chance of seeing Northern Lights tomorrow night. Now, the G3 geomagnetic storm is anticipated to be um, arriving early the 31st. So, 30th into the 31st for here in uh, the States. Now this is following a series of solar flares and CMEs that the sun's been like putting on this end of 2024 show for us. And yesterday we were looking at active region 3936 and this is the one that produced an X-class solar flare, X1.1. It did have a coronal mass ejection associated with it, but it wasn't what is causing this storm. We're here on the sun, active region 3939. This produced two M-class solar flares that had even more of coronal mass ejections with components that were aimed towards Earth. So therefore, a collection of the coronal mass ejections is what is causing this G3 geomagnetic storm watch. But look at just how busy the sun is, and we are in solar maximum. See down here is that X-class flare in the M1s. But yeah, the sun is very active, and we are in solar maximum. And judging by this, I can't wait to see New Year's Eve one. Um, what an end of year aurora chasing thing we can do now. You do want clear skies, and even if your eyes aren't picking them up down here, try your phones. Your phone cameras can see a lot more than your eyes can. But yeah, I have clear skies for tomorrow night, the 30th, and I'm going to be live chasing it. But happy aurora hunting, everybody. We got a G3 geomagnetic storm. Let's go.